Hi, I'm Rob Glass of Glass Residential Group. This home has six bedrooms and is approximately 18,000 square feet on three levels. The house is a French Provençal Bastide home. My favorite part of, of this home is the garage cave. When people walk in, the one word that comes from everybody is wow. The garage cave is about 3,600 square feet and houses about 12 different cars. This space is the wow room, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe that's a guy thing. They just are, excuse the expression, but they're blown away. This garage was themed after a home I saw in southern France that was built around a 17th century cave. When we built it, it was beautiful, but once the cars were all positioned, the space just came to life. The owner is a collector, and this, this garage and this backdrop enhances his passion. We curved all the walls, the ceiling, as much as we could with the height we had, and then we created these stone walls and ceilings, which are all reclaimed stone from the burgundy section of France. Garage floor, or should I say the cave floor, is all a Belgium cobblestone that has been reclaimed from Belgium streets. These are uh, an iron chandelier. These were actually custom made. And the client wanted to bring out kind of a castle effect. The garage doors, we actually built it. It's a steel frame, and then the doors were finished off with the reclaimed wood. These doors are custom made. They're about three inches thick. We actually had some extra vintage beams on the job, and we decided to slice those and make these doors. We couldn't just put a standard door in here, and all the doors in this, in this home are vintage. It kind of fit with the cave feel, and we think it kind of was a nice icing on the cake. I love the juxtaposition of these Beautiful vintage Ferraris. There's the James Bond 007 DB5 car and a 1929 Austin <laughs> Healey, which is probably the oldest car in here, I'm sure. Way older than me. But the Ferraris are what catch my eye. Any one of these vehicles would be fun to take out for a day. So at the touch of a button, we rotate. So I'm standing on a turntable. This allows for the cars to easily be pulled out or backed in. It's really a unique feature. You have to excavate, pour concrete, and then install the, the steel mechanism. The turntable is actually, it's about 24 inches deep, so we had to create a hole in the ground and pour concrete in order to put the actual mechanism in. Not that this is a tight space, but it's a tight space when you put a dozen cars or so and you have to move them around. It's really invaluable. Depending on how you're going to maneuver the car in, you, you can pick clockwise or counterclockwise, and we are demonstrating clockwise. I'll be back with you in a second. <laughs>